right? Uh, not gonna do a song. I don't feel like it. Uh, about to head off to Anacrocon. Why have I never been to Anacrocon before? It's like the steampunk alt history thing, and like, I was so into steampunk. I was so into historical reenacting. Why did it take me this long? It's been around for 10 years. Um, and I'm just going for today to do a show with Atlanta Radio Theater Company. So, I'm gonna get going right now. getting around to the outro on this extremely short vlog um so uh just gonna say it the highlight and the low light for an acrocon were two sides of it's really the same thing um the thing about small cons is so many more of the the guests and um and people in the vendors room and everything are all small creators and so with that you get they're so passionate about what they do, and just to hear them talk about their um, what they're making, their product, what they're doing, what they're interested in. There's so much more passion. You can, you know, actually have a conversation and get to know them and see stuff you might not have discovered otherwise. You know, at your big con where it's all celebrities and well-known authors and all that. Um, but on the flip side, small con, it just feels like there's not much to do, to be honest. Um, kind of a little too chill for me. I, I love the big fast paced events where it's crowded and crunched and everything's going 100 miles an hour and you don't really get to have downtime and that's more, that's more my speed, so. And another thing that I, I noticed that I was talking about some with, so there were the cars there. And I remember, like, ten years ago, cars at cons were not a thing. Like, maybe you'd have a, the Pikachu mobile that was always at Awa, and then, like, in the Dragon Con parade, like, there'd be some cars, but now every con has cars. Even Tiny Con, and I think that's cool. Um, you've probably noticed from every vlog that I've done that I, you know, devote a little time to checking out the cars. Um, the show, though, that was the biggest highlight. The show, it went fantastically. Uh, it was actually a pretty small turnout, which was disappointing because I do feel like that was some of the best acting work I have ever done. Um, and hopefully someone was recording it. I'm going to be doing it again next weekend in Canuga. But also, the big, really cool thing that happened was uh, I met somebody who is um, working on some platforms and programming for distribution of books and he wants to do audiobooks and so he talked to some of the artsy people about maybe we might work out doing some voiceover and some of those audiobooks which that would be really cool my mother says so often i don't know why i don't know why she has it in her head that this is what i should do but she's like when are you going to do voiceover work you should do voiceover you do voice I like that's all she talks about i don't know does she think my face is not pretty enough to be in front of the camera she just wants me to do voiceover work. So I was, you know, maybe that'll work out. Um, that's all. Have fun and be safe. And I guess subscribe or whatever. I don't know. Do people actually do that when you tell them to? I certainly don't. I base my decisions on my own thoughts. I hope you do too. But that's all.